Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, we're going to go over local storage. So in my quest to look into servers, what I really originally wanted to do is have a web application and have data stored on the web application, even though I close the browser down. So in other words, I have this web application, I have data inside there, I close the web application, and the data is gone. What I was trying to do is simply make sure that even though I close the web application, the data is still there. For example, what if I had like a to-do list? Okay, so I add things on a to-do list on my web application, and I close it down, my computer crashes or something, and the information, is my to-do list is gone, so I don't know what to do. So you could connect your system up to a server, that's one way to do it, but using local storage is another option. I'll go over servers from the very beginning in the future, so if none of that made any sense, don't worry about it, okay? Local storage simply means I can save information into the system, onto the browser, and it doesn't get deleted for the future, even though the web browser is closed, all right? So we have a simple, very simple web application here. Type in the first name, type in the last name, and I add it onto the list, and I save it onto the local storage. If I clear, hit clear, it clears the local storage. Everything goes away. Um, and if I hit, type in the first name, let's, rest uh, um, oh, wait a minute. Uh, let's hit pub serve again. Okay, let's go back. I hit, yeah, sorry about that. So so I type in the first name and I hit list name and it'll give me the last person's last name. So if I can't remember their first name, I'm terrible with last names, I'm great with first names, I just put, put it inside my simple web application. Okay, so it just helps me out. Like in life, okay? So it's nice and simple, nothing really remarkable. The only thing, wait a minute, here we go. Nothing remarkable about any of these elements themselves other than the div output. We just didn't see that right here. So first name, last name, add, clear, search first name, and list name. So pretty straightforward. Text, ID, value, eh, nothing really new, right? Input elements, button elements, that's about it. Now we have, we're going to instantiate everything, okay? Text input elements, the button elements, um, and the div element. We'll do everything and instantiate them, and we'll give them their all variable names. This is the new thing, storage, storage, window.local storage. There, how you actually use it is you would say storage, and then you use brackets, and you have to have some type of string inside of here. Let's just call it like key, for example. Um, equals, and let's just say some other type of uh, like uh, value. It would look like that. So the way in which the browser saves it, it saves this as a key, this string as a key, and it strings saves this string as a value, and it stores it into the system in the browser itself. So what I'm going to do is add to storage. If I click on the add to storage, which is the add, add feature right there, I click on that, it's going to do storage, the first name value, um, value, so whatever's in the first name column, equals the last name. So this is the key, and this is the value, and it would save it inside of there. Then I'll say list name, I'm going to go over this in a second, list name, output.text equals storage, and it's going to do the first name, because remember, that's the key, and then it'll give me the value. So if I type in the first name, I don't remember the person's last name, I remember the first name, I click on the list name, list name, the result is it's going to give me the person's last name. Clear storage, hit clear, on click, listen, I don't need, there's going to be a, um, a parameter argument right here, I don't need to use this argument, instead I want to use the argument storage right here because I need to do something with it. Clear storage memory. It'll come down. Confirm equals the, the variable confirm. Type bool. It'll be window.confirm. And it'll ask me a question. Are you sure you want to clear the local storage? And if I say OK, if it's true, this bool, then I'm going to clear it. OK? Now let's get to it. What's going on? First name, I'm going to say, um, say John Doe. I'm going to add him to the list, and I met somebody named um, 
Donald Trump. I met him too. And then I met some person meaning saying um, her name was uh, geez, um, Jane Smith. I'll head at her as well. And I can't remember. I met some guy. His name was John something. Um, so I'll type that in here. What was his name again? Oh, oh, Mr. Doe. That's right. I remember it now. See? So I can actually get this information and, and take it out. But it's not the same as just a variable that's in the application itself. Because what if I close it down and it's gone, right? Well, I'm going to have to open it up again. Um, right here. I, I, I'm sorry. Wait a minute. Let's open up the browser again. Go back to localhost 8080. Uh, again, what was that guy's name? It was, um, oh, there was a woman named Jane, I think it was. Jane, what was her last name? What was her last name? Smith. Oh, that's right. There it is. If you go a little bit more into more tools, developer tools, under resources, it'll be something called local storage. You could click there and you will find the keys. Donald, Jane, John, and the values. So how you obtain the information is you obtain the, just like any map, right? You obtain the value by asking for the key itself. And notice I closed it down. I opened it back up again. That information is still stored there. So that's nice that if you need to store information inside there, have a to-do list, you would have like maybe numbers inside of here. And then the value, whatever the to-do list is, it would be a string form. And this is really nice. This is super simple, of course. It's super simple in every measurable way. But at the same time, it's kind of one of those things where it just introduces the concept. You can do all sorts of creative stuff, have some loops and stuff like that inside there, to, um, more if statements, if necessary. Clear um, storage memory. What I'm going to say is, what if I wanted to, okay, I don't really need this information, okay? So I'm just going to clear it. I don't like these people anymore. Are you sure you want to clear the local storage? Uh, no, I changed my mind. I changed my mind. Well, no, no. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and clear it. Okay. And everything gets deleted. Okay. So that's just one of the methods with storage. So if we went up here, we can always say storage dot. What other methods all there? You could get all the values. You could get um, a add um, several different things. You could clear it for each. So you could get all sorts of different information from the storage method um class from the methods the, uh, with using different methods okay so i hope that was clear on how to use local storage and hopefully it'll be helpful for you sometime in the future okay thank you